Renee from Oak Gardens Nursery and I'd like to talk to you today about growing herbs. Herbs are very easy to grow. Grow them from seed or you can stop by your local nursery and pick some up. Uh, herbs need probably five to six hours of sunlight. Uh, you can grow them in your house and then bring them out in the summertime if you'd like. We grow um, many, many different varieties of herbs and we like to put them in themed gardens such as this one is a tea garden. It's got lemon balm, it's got peppermint, and it has got cinnamon basil for teas. This garden over here is our pizza garden. It's got oregano, rosemary, parsley, and basil. And lastly, we have this Italian garden right here. It's got chives, and it's got marjoram, basil, thyme, oregano just need to add tomatoes and you got your complete Italian spices. Growing herbs um, is best done if it's in a clay pot versus plastic. The herbs need well-drained soil and they need they need to um, put they need well-drained soil and the biggest mistake in growing herbs is overwatering. That is the number one killer of herbs. We're going to go ahead and plant up some of my favorite herbs on this little strawberry pot. So the first thing you need to do is add soil. A good moistened soil works the best. So you get your first little slot there. One of my favorite herbs is sage. Sage, is all, it also keeps your brain young, which I probably should plant a couple of them in here, but We'll start with one. Um, add a little moss. What the moss does, it keeps the soil from coming out when you water. Keep adding more layers until you get to your next hole. Then we're going to add some parsley. Parsley is a great herb. It's actually good for your eyes. Um, it, it, it helps protect against the UV rays of the sun. Add a little moss to that. The next herb I think we're gonna plant up will be lemon thyme. Not only does it smell great, but it's good on chicken dishes, um, fish, all kinds of things you can cook up in the kitchen. Uh, then it looks like we're gonna go with some rosemary. Rosemary will help first boost your um, immune system and alertness. It has oils that help stimulate the brain in it. A little bit of moss on that one. Um, then lastly, we're going to go ahead and put basil on top. Basil's good for everything. Pesto, um, all kinds of dishes, spices, and then a, go ahead and put your tags in so you know what you got. Water it in, and you got your little strawberry pot full of herbs. One other thing I'd like to mention is it's important to pinch back all your herbs. I would just pinch down to the next layer of leaves. And you can go ahead and use these in your cooking. You need to pinch back your herbs. You do not want them to flower because these plants contain essential oils. And you, if, when they try to self-seed, you lose that essential oils. So that's just a little brief on herbs. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your time.